continue now with our coverage of today's cabinet confirmation hearings on Capitol Hill and issue Democrats and Republicans are completely divided on the Second Amendment. Of course, here's what Senator Sessions said about background checks. Will you support laws necessary to effectively apply those laws, including universal background checks that are necessary to know whether the purchaser is a felon or a drug addict or a domestic abuser? Well, I believe in background check laws, and uh, many of them are appropriate. But uh, in every instance, um, there are some instances when, when it's not practical, like say, for example, somebody inherited a gun from their grandfather, those transactions, I'm not sure, should require uh, that kind of universal background check. Now, Juan, did you think he was going to get a different answer to that one? Well, if you're asking me what I hoped, Derek, I had hoped that he would say he believed completely in universal background checks. He came close. I mean, obviously, if your granddad leaves you a gun, it's in the house or whatever, okay, so I don't think anybody should be coming into your house and arresting you on that basis. Uh, but the closer we get to universal background checks, especially in, the power of that question was that it came from a man, a senator from the state of Connecticut where Newtown occurred. And he's asking, I think, with some sincerity, that was no dog and pony show. That's the real deal. People concerned about gun violence in this country. And after what happened in Fort Lauderdale last weekend, I think it comes with some urgency to it. Greg, tough question to answer, especially from Blumenthal, who is, as one points out, from Connecticut. Newtown. Yeah, it's, it's always going to be, in my opinion, a gotcha question if you don't, if you don't break down what gun violence is. It's just like, of course, you don't want bad people to get guns and you don't want children to be shot dead by psychopaths. That's that's a fact. But when you when you come at this this issue as universal gun violence all, and you and you come in with these statistics without breaking down the, the specific nature of each thing that per, a lot of things are suicide. The majority of these of, of, of the gun, gun violence is, is suicide. And then you have to you have to deal with how do people get guns and, and things like that. But just to say gun Gun violence, it's like you're kind of always on your back foot because you, you, you know what they want. Sure. They're trying to get you to say something. And they're, yeah, and they're trying to get you on the record yeah. so they can remind you of it later, right? And I think that he left himself some room. And it's not, going, it's, it's not a comfort to people to listen to practicalities, but that's what Senator Sessions was, was talking about. And I think that throughout the hearing today, what you heard him say is that I will follow the laws. And then the question will be, will there be new laws that are proposed either by Congress or by the administration, and how will he sit then? And I think that he left himself some room to be able to make that decision as they come up. KG? Yeah, I think that they're, you know, they're trying to go after him in any way they can, but obviously this is one of the confirmation hearings that everyone expected that they were going to try and give him a tough time, especially from a partisan perspective. But the, the Attorney General is a very important position. We saw that office highly politicized under Eric Holder, uh, you know, much to the chagrin of many people watching and witnessing across the country. It was used as a political arm of the Obama administration. So they can ask these questions, and you saw with consistency and clarity that Senator Sessions answered the questions and said that he was going to uphold the law, essentially that that was sacrosanct and that he would not be engaging in the politicization that he witnessed in the past. Well, let me just say that he was a political player. I mean, the, the, the reason that he supported Donald Trump early is he had good instincts on where the country was, but he also had the issues when we talk about trade, when we talk about immigration. But we can go beyond that and talk about things like saying he plans, he wants to defund Planned Parenthood. That's a highly political issue. Let's talk about this. Senator Sessions was questioned about his stance on President-elect Trump's proposed Muslim immigration ban. Do you agree with the President-elect the United States can or should deny entry to all members of a particular religion? I have no belief and do not support the idea that Muslims as a religious group should be uh, denied admission to the United States. Would you support a law that says that if you're a Muslim, you say you're a Muslim, and when we ask you, what does that mean to you? Well, that means I got to kill everybody that's different from me. It's okay to say they can't come. I think that would be a prudent decision. And then he went one step further in saying that the, he would not be in support of a, of a full registry of all Muslims as well. Right. So, again, this is going from what people heard on the campaign trail to now in terms of the governing and that uh, Senator Sessions, if he is confirmed by the Senate to be the attorney general, is saying, no, I am not for that. And I think that a lot of people that had heightened worries, um, and you saw Meryl Streep in the other day at the Golden Globes, she's still back on those heightened worries. and. 
it's not only the incoming administration that's making the pivot from the campaign to governing, but the country will be doing so as well in about a week. What do you think? I, you know, I got to go back to my initial point. This is all it's garbage. It, this is like a victimizer's quiz show. They have all of these things. It's like they have this person up here and they go, are you going to defund P Planned Parenthood? Are you going to deport right. Muslims? Are you going to defund, are you going to, uh, um, I don't know, put guns in the hands of crazy people? So it's like the idea of people, but keeping people terrified. There was one moment when a questioner was talking about the deportation of illegal immigrants and then tied it to LGBT, LGBT folks as if somehow he's going to be deporting gays. And I'm like going, <laughs> I think they, they, they put this all up into a giant hot tub of victimization. So and, and it just keeps going and going and going, and that's what they do. You know, if that was the case, I'd say I would agree with you. Then this is just a charade, right? This is nothing, new, and we should ignore it. And why do we even bother to pay attention? But I think that he has a voting record in the Senate. And on that voting record, guess what? He's been opposed to immigration reform. He's been opposed to trade, opposed to violence against women act, you know, as a hate crime type of legislation. He has a real voting record that is a real concern to people. This is why I thought Dana's point was right on target. So there's a difference between campaigning and governing. And now he says, this is how I will govern. I will obey the law. Mm -hmm. And on that, you know, to that extent, I've got to trust him. It's just as why I yeah. say, you know what? Donald yeah. Trump is our president. Tell me to tease KG Bill. Let's get you in here. I, I thought that you know he answered the questions well. He did a very good job. He didn't have any slip ups, and so for him, the day so far you know, has gone extremely well. He was well prepared, it seemed to me. All right. Up next, before delivering his farewell speech tonight, some of President Obama's celebrity supporters are getting emotional about saying goodbye. Details when we come right back.